good morning y'all i'm already up and awake i'm just going over some topics uh, um before lectures this morning so i woke up about an hour and a half earlier than i needed to just to get through some topics all right i'll see you guys in a bit good morning everyone so i've already been up for about an hour now just reviewing some topics before lectures this morning we will be doing a lot of resident review sessions today in preparation for um, a lot of the exams coming up. So there's core exams for the second years. There is a basic exam for the first years and it's just board review in general for the graduating residents as well. So that's what we'll be focusing on this lecture session for the next few hours. In general, I normally do wake up early to study um, and just refresh my mind on certain topics before lectures, even though I do study throughout the week as well. So we still wear scrubs to work. So I always pull out the scrubs the night before and just put this, put it here on the dresser so I could just grab and go in the morning. It just makes life so much quicker, so much easier, just with way to be time efficient. So I'm in my little headband. I'm just laying down my edges with my hairstyle that I have. Um, okay, so I'm clearly on my futon. This is where I listen to lectures. We get to listen to lectures from home. Prior to COVID, the residents used to go into the go into work and uh, sit in the path lab and go through lectures. However, this is a plus from COVID. We actually get to stay home and listen to lectures. So this is where I listen to my lectures. Um, I always make sure that I have this. This is what I put my, my, my computer on and I have my computer and I'll have my charger. Actually, my computer is still in my bedroom right now because I was studying earlier this morning and I forgot to put it here before I started filming, but that's okay. Clearly, you guys know I'm going to need my, my computer to Zoom. Um, I also have, wait, where is it? I also have my notebook. I like to take notes during lectures just for me to be able to look back on um, when I'm doing my studying. Sometimes I'll have Alicon next to me, depending on what we're doing. So just let me give you the um, breakdown of our lectures. It happens every Tuesday. It goes normally from eight to 12, eight to nine is always what we call CPC. CPC is when we use real life cases that we've all seen and we present them to the rest of our residents and the rest of our program. We start with a clinical picture and then the, we go around the we go around and ask um, a, a resident what do they think this is a diagnosis of. We usually have a differential diagnosis, which is different diagnoses that we think that this picture could be of. And then the person who's presenting the case will then go through maybe pathologic features. They'll have pictures of the path, sometimes dermatoscopic features, and we'll try to narrow down the diagnosis that way. Then they then they tell us the HPI, the presenting, the history of the presenting illness, and we try to put everything together to come up with a diagnosis. It's a really great way to for us to be able to um, learn how to not only identify a diagnosis but understand how it presents pathologically and like under the microscope, um, dermatoscopically, which is that um, little feature bag is right here. Um, the dermatoscope that we use to look at lesions, we have to know how it, they present that way as well and uh, then we also at the end include a literature research so we'll pick a topic that is that relates to our presentation so for example if i am doing um basal cell i might do a literature research on the liter the latest treatments for uh, for basal cell carcinoma which is something like that and then we just present that we do that actually every week so sometimes it's hard to, for us to find cases especially when i first started and i didn't have that many cases it was much harder it's getting easier now also when they're asking the residents what do they think the diagnosis is they usually ask the first year so even when i so when i first started that also was challenging because i was like i've never even seen this like what is this coming up with the differential was relatively hard but it's getting a lot less challenging now but this is over zoom so sometimes there's a lot of nerves that come with it because you know like so many people are just like listening to you on this camera but that's our first hour and that's called cpc then uh, in the, from 10 to 12 then from 9 to 12 we can have different topics depending on what day it is what lectures my chief resident was able to 
um, schedule. So like, for example, last week we had board review by a chair of a different residency program. This week we're doing board review resident sessions. So the later lectures, they can be of any topic. This topic is going to be resident session lectures just on board review. We even have a 12 to 1. So we rarely have 12 to 1 lectures, but sometimes we do. But this lecture I'm actually super excited about. It's about financial literacy. So I'm really excited about this. And they're feeding us. We like almost never get fed. In my intern year, I used to get fed a lot actually. But they're feeding us as well. So I'm like, ooh, I'm loving this one. So I'm excited about this as well. So I'll keep you guys um, tuned in. I'm about to eat some breakfast. Um, take this scarf off because I'm not about to be on the Zoom lecture with a scarf on. And we're going to go from there. All right, y'all just finished it making my instant coffee I know a lot of people don't like that but that's all i need to just put a little pep in my step for the morning so once i have this i know i'm going to be having a great day <laughs> busy schedule ahead of me so here I go hey y'all so I'm in the parking lot so I just wanted to like touch base about my day it was actually <sighs> there's always something happening I definitely had an angry patient um, and there was a psych component to it as well and I definitely want to let you guys know if you if you were interested in derm you do have to be prepared for patients who have um, a psych background. Um, there's a lot of derm presentations just because of a patient having some kind of psychiatric disorder as well. And this patient was really angry and I was like, oh my God, like, is this person going to get up and hit me? Like, it was definitely challenging to maneuver, but my attending was awesome and he kind of took lead. Um, and it's crazy because the patient was there for something so simple, so I'm not sure how it got as complicated as it did. But that's the thing, you never know in the Durham Clinic. But other than that, my day was awesome. I did procedures, I um, saw acne, I saw patients with like rashes. I was not running behind today, but I did have two no-shows, so I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that helps me. Um, I was caught up on my notes and last time I did derm clinic I was an hour behind I was not behind at all but I did stay back a little bit just to you know read through my notes make sure everything was tucked was um, neatly put away I'm not at my main location this month I'm actually at a satellite clinic so I wanted to make sure I got everything done because I won't be back at that clinic for the rest of the week so that's how my day went and i'm about to head home finally home it's a little bit after six um just gonna shower and probably just relax uh, sometimes i study after work but when i have all those lectures i just chill at home in the evening so that's what i'll be doing hope you guys enjoyed